Hello, dear patients. Today we are going to review the case of Gardnerella, urea plasma and mycoplasma in a man. A young man came to our clinic and he was bothered by deposits on glans penis and false skin. You can see it on the picture. Also, during observation, some reddening of urethral lips was found and some discharges. This young man didn't have a constant sexual partner, and from time to time he had casual sexual contacts. Sometimes they were without a condom. He went to the rheumatic neurologic dispensary with a reddening of glans penis, and no analysis were taken from him. A diagnosis of glans penis candidosis was set by a rule of thumb. Clotrimazole ointment was prescribed. He had been using it for about 10 days without any effect. And after that he discontinued using it after realizing that these suspicions are groundless. So he came to our clinic. So analysis for sexually transmitted infections were taken from glans penis and from inside the canal. Smear test for flora or for information was taken. Culture tests of this deposit were taken from glans penis and foreskin. PCR analysis were also taken for fungi of 8 candida and culture test for candida were taken. As a result, it was found that leukocytes are 12 to 15 within a visual field from urethra. Bacterial culture test brought usual bacteria in normal concentrations. Candida was not found in PCR analysis or in bacterial culture test, therefore a presumption of candidosis done by a rule of thumb was wrong. So three causative agents were found, Gardnerella, urea plasma and mycoplasma hominis. Later on, culture test was taken for urea plasma and mycoplasma according to sensitivity to antibiotics, and the complex treatment was prescribed in the form of washing and installation of urethra. External buffs with furosilin were prescribed. Internal antibiotics were prescribed according to sensitivity as well as anti-Gardnerella medications. Enzyme medications were prescribed in injection form by type of lidaza chemotrypsin. Medications by type of ozone, polyoxidonium intravenously, were also prescribed to stimulate immunity. The course of treatment was finished, and after that, control analysis were taken. The events of inflammation, peeling and deposit from glans penis completely resolved. Also, inflammation events in urethra disappeared, and discharges also stopped. In three weeks, a control analysis was taken for these found infections and the smear test for flora and inflammation was done. As a result of that, it was all normal in these analyses. The patient's complaints stopped. This case again suggests that unfortunately you cannot set a diagnosis of some sexually transmitted infection by a rule of thumb, even if you are sure. They all have quite a similar picture and even deposit that is thought as the only and almost 100% sign of candida in dermatic neurologic dispensaries doesn't always work. So analysis have to be always done during any symptoms of genitourinary system infection and the treatment should be prescribed only according to analysis. If it's necessary to diagnose and treat any diseases of genitourinary organs, you can consult the neurologists, urologists and gynecologists of our paid medical center, Dermatic Neurologic Dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who will diagnostics and treatment of such diseases. We're waiting for you now. Click